In this lecture, we're going to continue to take a look at SVN <coughs> and subclips. Uh, in this uh, particular uh, episode, we're going to uh, uh, download a, an existing uh, repository into our Eclipse environment. So, in order to do this, I'm um, going to uh, go to the SVN repository and select the actual directory that I want to include. In this case, uh, I want to include CPP in it. Um, so, uh, I'm going to do a checkout of this uh, particular um, directory. So, I'll just go ahead and do checkout and then um, here we're going to do a checkout as a project in the workplace um, and uh, so I'm going to select that option and then just kind of click through here so it's going to download all of these files uh, and there's several files here so it may take a few minutes uh, and then once we do that we'll have uh, we'll have this uh, set of files available for our um, um, for our use. Okay, so now that I have it, here is uh, CPP in it. You'll see that it has actually included it, and then uh, here are all the files that uh, are available to us. So <clears throat> anyway, so that's uh, that's a, a quick view of, uh, of actually uh, checking something out. Uh, we saw previously how to actually create um, a uh, a repository and a directory within a repository. Um, we can also do a, a number of things with these uh, once we've actually checked it out. We can make modifications um, and check those modifications in. Uh, so last time <coughs> I made a mod, I created assignment 01. I can actually let's create a new version number here uh, and check this in. I'm going to change hello world. A new world and so uh, you'll notice that the icon is changed here because I have made a change to the file uh, that indicates that there's an update that uh, that can be made and now I can start to do things like um, check in there's a number of different operations most uh, mostly we would need to um, uh, need to commit our changes. Um, other things that we might want to do are things like update, uh, which uh, if there are changes that are made to the repository by someone else, then um, this uh, will allow us to uh, incorporate those changes into our repository. But here I'm just going to go ahead and commit changed version number And now that's been checked in. <clears throat> and so when we look at the SVN repository, we'll see that change. And actually, I believe that if I close this and browse through here, I will see the actual <coughs> changed version. And there it is, um, 0.2. So anyway, so that's, the, um, that's both uh, checking out and checking in. Uh, I could do the same thing, of course, to this version that I had checked out. So I'm going to just add a comment. And when I <coughs> make that change, again the icon changes to say that there's an update that uh, uh, can be committed. And then I can do that. I can commit my change. Okay, so anyway, so those are the basics, uh, mostly of uh, everything that we will need for the course. Checking out files, checking in files. Um, you can all, and we won't be doing very much as in the way of sharing um, of files. You will be doing, um, you will be using SVN to download some of my, um, my source that I provide to you, but mostly you'll be maintaining uh, your own SVN site. So anyway, that concludes this episode.